What's going on, fellow A pluses? It's your boy Adam Perez. I'm back once again with a brand new video today as San Diego Comic Con continues to chug along, ladies and gentlemen. We are, in fact, in day three when you're watching this video. I am recording this at the end of day two because day two did not disappoint. And as somebody that did a review for season one of Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, I was plenty thrilled at the fact that we wind up getting ourselves a brand new first look at an official trailer for season two for the rings of power set to go ahead and release august 29th now look when it comes to season one i personally was a really big fan I didn't really have as many issues with it as other people did, but I can understand some of the gripes, whether it be the slow pacing of it, a lot of sort of several different storylines and characters for them to certainly focus on. But for me, I thought the buildup was incredible to really what turned out to feel like a three part sort of season finale, if you will. And I thought season one ended on a grand scale, if you ask me, to the point to where, especially after watching this season two trailer, not only do I want to go back and rewatch season one, but I think everybody could certainly watch season one. I don't think season one uh, helped at all in regards to dropping opposite House of the Dragon. Terrible to have to compare yourselves to a show as great as House of the Dragons. But I do think a lot of people, I don't know if people walked into that show with hater raid goggles on or just looking for something to hate, but I really do think that there is a lot to certainly explore when it comes to season one of the Rings of Power. Again, I understand certain people's gripes, but I do think that this season in this show in general is a lot better than people are certainly talking about. So I think a rewatch is certainly in order, especially after after watching this trailer, where it feels like season one very much is sort of a setup of not only of our characters, but events that are really going to truly pay off when we get to season two. So guys, let's talk about this particular trailer because man, this trailer did so much more than I was certainly expecting. I mean, just some of the great Easter eggs out of the way. Get an opportunity to see the Balrog from the Mines of Moria, if you will, or I believe I, I'm assuming that's the same Balrog. Even got to see the talking trees in the Ents in here. Um, maybe we got the opportunity to see Shelob or at least maybe one of her children, if you will. And of course, the idea of the rings, the rings of power certainly playing certainly a significant role in here. And uh, boy, I truly cannot wait. First and foremost, the grand scope of this trailer and to show exactly everything that's going to be taking place in season two. There is a lot going on, whether that be incredible character drama, seeing Sauron continue to reach for power, some really epic battles on huge scopes. I mean, get an opportunity to see an army of orcs facing off against an army of elves riding on their steeds and stuff, getting ready to go into battle. I mean, man, <laughs> this, see, this trailer truly had everything that I could personally really hope for. Um, a couple of things that they definitely fo focused on in this um, trailer that I was a really big fan of. First off, they lay the groundwork for the development of the ring and really the idea of Sauron with the one ring having the ability to kind of control all of them, right? Like even Elrond kind of gives them sort of that um, that uh, that warning in the sense of like, you know, the rings are deceiving you. Like you may think that, you know, following what the ring is telling you is something that you yourself are are suggesting right like you believe that the ring is guiding you to do certain things but how do you know it's not sauron truly manipulating you through the ring and really really the finished goal all lending up to contributing towards whatever it is that sauron is trying to do at the end of the day right we've got three rings for the elven kings which we get introduced to in the trailer seven apparently for the dwarves and then he does soren at the end of this does say give me the nine and i would assume he's talking about the nine rings that he winds up giving to mortal men that at the end of the day will turn to the nazgul that we wind up seeing in the um, lord of the ring trilogy from peter jackson so we're definitely lying laying the groundwork here in regards to not only the rings of power being created but really how soren on through those rings have the ability to go ahead and actually control and bend the minds and bend people's will to do what he certainly wants to and some all the from all the interviews that i've seen 
they really do talk about Sauron sort of taking center stage in this season, truly sort of being his story and talk about a complete shift in character change because Hal Brand from season one was like a nobody. Like I truly did not care for that character until it was revealed um, what his true motives were at the end of season one. And now you get to see him here in season two and just the incredible transformation for what he certainly looks like, how he's talking, just unbelievable stuff, man. So. Uh, again, I do think season one did a great job of building those blocks and putting things together and truly setting this up for what looks to be in an, an epic season two. And I do think it's important for us to understand that there's only going to be, I think they said five seasons of this through Amazon Prime. So they very much have their story kind of laid out in regards to the events that take place and how they build upon each other leading into each season. So I do think that certainly needs to be taken into account. Um, the music music in this trailer was incredibly rousing. I wind up getting myself like goosebumps watching along here. Uh, I'm really fascinated to see Elrond kind of take a step up. He seems like be like one of the only people in here that's speaking, speaking a uh, reason, if you will, trying to really get people to understand what's possibly going on here. Galadriel seems as though she's certainly on some sort of a personal mission. Again, I love the fact that she talks about the idea that Sauron isn't a man, right? That he literally deceived her and I do wonder if this is going to be a case too like he's still deceiving you like if you truly believe that your ring is what's guiding you to do certain things you may certainly want to think again right so I do wonder if Galadriel will certainly learn from him or hit her mistakes and eventually come to realize that maybe it is Sauron kind of pulling her strings now that she's wearing these rings and so I, I thought this trailer did a really great job of just showcasing the temptation that certainly happens I think we even get to see Tom Bombadil, if I'm not mistaken, I, I can't pronounce, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, um, interacting with Gandalf. And I do think that this trailer did a good job of not only giving us uh, Sauron's um, motives in here, also giving us a perspective of the elves and returning us to Gandalf along with his journey and understanding like what his fate is certainly supposed to be. What is his mission as to why he's certainly here? And so uh, I think we've got a really great season on our hands. Uh, if anything, clocking in at like three minutes and 50 seconds. Uh, this really, really got me hyped for the second season of The Rings of Power. And look, I definitely do believe they probably listened to some uh, criticism that season one wind up getting and making any additional changes that they certainly needed to again look the trailers can certainly showcase you what you know showcase to you what they want you to see but the storyline for season two is really going to determine whether or not this is going to be a great season but if this is what things look like i think we're in store for certainly something special here and i'm really excited to see tolkien's work sort of brought to live action once again in this season but look guys at the end of the day these are simply my a plus opinions i want to know your outside of the incredible action outside of explaining to us what some of the character arcs and story arcs are going to be outside of the incredible rousing music and just the, the scope and scale of really where we're going to be traversing whether that be in the caves the forest the mountainside the you know the the castles i mean it looks incredible like the special effects look incredible the the costume designs the prosthetics and makeup designs of bringing these characters and creatures to life i continue to be blown away by the rings of power and so i cannot wait to go ahead and do a season one rewatch and i cannot wait for season two but again these are just simply my a plus opinions i want to know yours what did you guys think about about this particular trailer are you more intrigued in season two than you were with season one are you going to give it a shot or have you been on board all along like myself let me know your thoughts in the comment section box below but until next time do me a big favor y'all take care of yourselves take care of each other and keep it a plus i'll talk to you guys later bye